The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Yamaha has been powering its watercraft with the MR1 engine for 14 years now, but advances in technology have given them a prime opportunity to repower their watercraft with an engine that's lighter, more compact, and more powerful. The result is right here, the TR1. Let's take a look at some of the details. With dimensions of 30 inches long by 21 inches wide by 19 inches tall, the TR1 high output is 40% smaller than its predecessor and the engine weighs in at just 160.9 pounds. Displacement is 1049cc and it makes 13 more horsepower than the MR1. The TR1 high output's power to weight ratio advantage over the MR1 should translate into improved performance for models in Yamaha's VX and V1 models. The engine's compact profile comes from the fact that Yamaha is now integrating a lot of the components into the engine. The air cleaner in the front, the oil filter in the back, and overall this three-cylinder design. Just below the air filter box on the front of the motor is the engine's electronic control unit, or ECU, which is held in place with this bungee-style strap. Having it attached to the motor is another upgrade designed to make the engine fit into a smaller envelope. At the other end of the motor, Yamaha did away with the reduction gear, which reduced the overall size and made for a cleaner connection to the jet pump. Notice that all the electronics are on the front of the motor for easier access, and that the wire harnesses have waterproof Deutsch-style connectors for improved corrosion resistance and longer life. The 54mm throttle body fuel injection system is the brown component installed in line between the air filter and the TR1 High Output's performance-designed intake manifold. It feeds the proper mix of air and fuel into the engine's combustion chamber. The aluminum header style exhaust has individual runners for each cylinder. These reduce back pressure and let the engine breathe freely. A new muffler design keeps operating noise to a minimum. These hoses feed raw water to the liquid-cooled voltage regulator that provides more efficient charging than an air-cooled model. To absorb vibration and noise, the front motor mounts have large rubber footings and take note of the heavy-duty aluminum crossmember that links the port and starboard sides. The multi-layer oil cooler, oil filter, and dry sump oil system are all on the back of the motor, and there's an extraction port for easy oil changes. As we saw with the front mounts, the rears have large rubber inserts to absorb vibration and noise. As you can see, Yamaha met their goal of lighter weight, more power, and a more compact engine with the TR1. And that's our detailed look. For Botest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.